Hey, hey, Thomas Bartke here with Trackify, and uh, today I want to show you the new Trackify code generator for external landing pages or funnel pages. If you want to uh, create a funnel or external landing page for any product that you have in your Shopify store, you can use this Trackify code generator to fire the Facebook pixel codes just as if this the product was in the store so the benefit of doing that over putting your Facebook pixel code together manually for these external pages is that all of the settings that are in Trackify for that product that you want to feature there are coming out of out of the Shopify setup for Trackify okay so if you have niche information on the product if you have um, additional pixels firing on that product the date and time information that goes into all the events, everything that is that are benefits of Trackify code uh, when you are looking at the product in Shopify is coming with this to the external page that you want to set up. And so I'm going to show you a very simple setup here. I just have a funnel that offers a free per shipping product and then it goes to the cart page and then it goes to an upsell page and I show you how to put the uh, the pixel codes using the Trackify code generator? Okay, so we're we're gonna go in here. This is the first landing page. I'm gonna go into the edit page mode in ClickFunnels. This happens to be ClickFunnels. This applies just the same way to any other um, uh, external landing page generator. You can do this on WordPress, Optimized Press. Um, you know, standalone pages, what, wherever you are, lead pages, uh, you can you can put this in, and this code will work on any external pages. So in ClickFunnels, you go up here where the where the settings are, and you go to tracking code. This is where the code goes. Okay, this is where we're going to put it. Now let's grab it from Trackify. It's very simple. We have this. Um, this product you can actually search by product here or just go down the list until you see it but this narrows it down so you can put this in here this is the product um, and then you add a value here if you want if you don't uh, the value no matter what you put here the value follows whatever the settings are in your trackify so if you're not firing value for view content and add to cart events it doesn't matter if you put something in here or not. It will not include the value on view content and uh, and add to cart and the other events. Okay, but on purchase, of course, it will include it the way that that you entered in here. Okay, so let's just say we're putting a value here. We're not firing values, so just to put put zero. And then this here is default at full. This generates the full Facebook pixel script. Uh, you select which event you want. In this in this case, we're just going to keep it on content, because, view content, because we want to show this um, this event on the landing page. Okay, so we're going to just grab the code. See how simple it was. And just select the uh, select this here. Put the value here, and then select the event that you want. And just don't worry about the rest. And just click into this field. It grabs all the code. You copy. And then you paste it over here into this ClickFunnels box. Okay. Then you're going to close it. You're going to save it. And that's it. Now this page will fire a uh, view content event for this product when you visit the page. Let's see if it's already there. Yes, it is. Here's your Facebook Pixel Helper. And you can see this looks just like a complete. Um, complete thing that's going on here in the settings on Trackify so it's exactly the same event that would fire if you if you uh, visit the product page for this particular uh, product all right so let's go one step further here with this let's close this guy and let's just go on to the add to cart page so this is the next page on this page I would want to fire an add to cart event so same thing I just go to edit page mode I go here into settings where the tracking code goes and I go back to the Trackify code generator and just click the add to cart event and this is for the same product so nothing else to do there just grab the code come over here paste it close it save it done all right now when I come let's go back to uh, to this page oh actually it, it might uh, 
Let me see. Let me see just once. Okay, we're good. I just didn't want to want to make it more complicated uh, for this example here. I wanted to make sure that there's not an opt-in pop-up uh, in the way here. So we have um, we have the view content event here, right? Now I'm going to click on this button that goes to this order form, which is basically the same thing as um, uh, you know add to cart. So that's why I want to fire the add to cart event here. And there it is. Okay, there's exactly that same information as what would fire if this uh, product is added to the cart in the Shopify store. All right. Okay. So now the third page I want to look at is the first, the uh, one-time offer page. Now this page serves as the thank you page for the event that just happened, but it also at the same time uh, displays an upsell. Okay, so on this one, what I want to do is I want to bring a, a purchase event on to the tracking code here. So I just go back here, select purchase event. Now this time, I do want to report a value there. And even though this is a free plus shipping offer in this particular case, I want to just go ahead and fire the uh, the shipping cost in here, all right? Because I like it when, and uh, Trackify generally works like that, that it reports the full transaction value. So let's say I, I charge 995 shipping on this. So I just put the value in here, make sure purchase is selected and click on this and uh, copy. And then I put it in here. So this is my purchase event. Now, in addition to that, I like it. I think there's a lot of merit to that. If you fire a view content event for the upsell product, for the product that is showing in here. Okay, so I want to do that. And in order to do that, I'm just going to go in here and grab my upsell product. <clears throat> I put zero in here again. I could put something. It doesn't matter what I put here because in this particular store, it happens to be uh, at the default where the value for view content e events is not getting fired okay so there that's what we're going to do here um, and you'll see it, it'll show zero even though i put a value in here so i'm just going to grab the view uh, another view content event for the upsell product and i'm going to paste that underneath the purchase event here on this one-time offer page save and go back and let's see what fires here now Bam, bam, bam. All right, great. Facebook Pixel Helper says, here's my purchase event, and it's firing the shipping costs here as the value for this event. And then we have the view content event here, and see this fires zero, even though we have typed in there 24.95. Okay, and that is because of the Trackify setting uh, in the advanced setting in Trackify in the settings tab. Um, you have, we have selected that value reporting is not used for any other events other than the purchase event. So that's why this looks at that setting and reports this value as zero because we're using a view content event here. All right, okay, so I hope this helps you and I hope this is a useful feature. Uh, comment uh, on this video if you like it. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We are there in the in-app chat for you if, for solving any specific um, problems, but you can also ask uh, general questions in this group here, particularly if it's a common question that is of general interest. It'd be awesome to discuss this in the group. Thank you. And this is Thomas Bartke signing off.